Hey, what's up guys? See boys Pilot 2K7 back with another Grand Auto 5 real life mod video. Hope you guys are having a awesome Tuesday and I thank you guys so so much for tuning in. So it has been a while since we have been at our transportation and towing company. So we're gonna be starting off our episode here today and we are gonna be doing a repo. We haven't done a repo in a while as well. So we're gonna be repoing a 2018 Ford F. 250 guys the color is red I'm just gonna confirm with k what our license plate is that we're gonna be looking for so let me just ask her what's the license plate on that uh ford truck we got a repo okay guys so the license plate is gonna be 87 g h c 954 okay perfect so that's gonna be the license plate we're looking for now i know in real life you wouldn't go by the license plate you'll go by the uh VIN number, but we can't really see the VIN number in game, so we'll just go by the license plate. So let's see which truck we are going to use today. I kind of have an idea what truck I want to use because we have not used this truck in a little while now. So let's see what we have. We have our F. Uh, what is this again? I think that's the F550 2008. We do have this brand new 2013 F550 as well. We have yet to use that. It doesn't even have any skin, any like liveries or decals on it yet. So that thing is brand new. Let me know if you guys would like to see that in an episode. And speaking of that, if you guys are enjoying the episode so far, do me a favor. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit the like button. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe because we do new videos every single day. So subscribe and hit that post notification bell. All right, so over here we have our Kenworth. Uh, we got the Durastar, the International, the CXT, and I think this is another F another F550, yeah. But today, I actually wanna use this truck. This is a like a GTA 5 brand, MTL, but I wanna use this because it actually has the working flatbed or the, the working rollback, and I'm gonna show you guys that here in a second. So let me just unfreeze it and let's head out so once we get out of the shop i'll show you how to on um, the roll back bed goes back i don't want to do it here just because when we're in the shop sometimes things glitch out because like all of this is added into the game and it gets kind of crazy when you try to do some stuff so we'll wait till we get out on the street before i show you guys that but um yeah guys this is my towing and transportation company this was the first company we started in Grand Theft Auto 5 and it is it is extremely successful what this random guy's just laid out here okay let's um probably call 911 for him I don't know what happened can I even use my phone uh oh I can't use my phone okay well I tried it well we're just gonna have to role play that we called and the ambulance is on the way for him so today guys we're gonna be heading up US route one it's actually not too long of a trip I'll uh, mark it right here we're actually heading right over here that's gonna be two and a half miles so that shouldn't take too long so two and a half miles we're gonna be picking up a 2018 ford f-250 this guy is seven months behind on his payments so his vehicle is getting repoed hopefully today uh, we have been trying to watch this guy for a little while and we think that we should be able to get him today so hopefully everything works out But yeah, we have been having a pretty busy year. We actually have a lot more repos to do as well. So if you guys do enjoy, you want to see more towing and repo videos, definitely let me know in the comment section because we have a lot of work to do, guys. We definitely do. Come on, catch the light. Sorry, I got to catch it. You guys know, tow truck drivers, we got to be moving, man. Now, this thing does have lights, but um, they're not that bright, you know, but it is what it is. So next time we get to a red light, I'll show you guys how the rollback works. Which car is that? Oh, that's that. Thing is acting up a bit there. Alright guys, so there you can see. It goes back. And it comes back up. So this is actually one of my favorite trucks. We haven't used this thing in forever. And it's one of my favorite because even though it's not a real life brand or anything like that, it could actually move and it could actually function. So that's pretty cool now we have a long way to go guys so i'm not gonna waste any time at these red lights i do apologize but we gotta get to where we gotta go so we going through these red lights right now Damn. all right 
Alrighty, I think we're about to, ah, uh, we can't hop on the freeway from here. Oh, that was my fault, my bad. My bad, my bad. I think our, the front of our car got destroyed a little bit too. I gotta fix it. Alright, making this left. You guys know how it is though. Like when you're a tow truck driver, you gotta hustle and get to the location. Now, obviously, you can't go through the lights and stuff in real life, even though some of them do. I'm not gonna lie, some of them be wild, and I be seeing them in real life. Like in New York, they be running lights, they be going like 70 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. It's pretty crazy, but um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys don't mind my driving today. All right, we're nearly there already. One mile to go. I gotta take that forward focus off the streets because it is all over the place and it's see-through until we are nice and close to it. There's another one, so I gotta put that in another slot so it doesn't spawn like that. Alright, so I really hope that they're at the location, man. If not, we just wasted our time. They could be at work, they could be anywhere, they could be at school, they could be out shopping, I mean... I don't know, they're seven months late, so I don't think they're working, honestly, so I'm guessing they're going to be home. Alright, so we're coming up on scene, really? There's a lot of houses for sale over here, too. Alrighty, um, I think it's this house right here. I didn't mean to pull up directly in front of them. But I don't see this is a nice house. Oh, there's a guy working in the in the yard too. I think that's like a lawn care guy. Alright, I don't see the car though. You guys think it's in the driveway maybe in the garage? Okay. Um this house looks abandoned over here, so I'm just gonna park right here for a second. I should have backed up. They're gonna hear the truck now. Hopefully they're not home. All right, let me go see if I could uh, either gain access to the garage and see if it's in there or what. I don't know what we're going to do. Check this out, guys. Ace Trucking and Logistics. That's a throwback. We started that company so long ago. All right. Uh, let's see. This is a house. Um, I don't really want to say anything because he may tell the owner. Let's see if I can see over here. No. Let me just ask him. Hello, sir. Are you um Gerald Smith? Uh no. Okay, fine. You know if he's home? Knock on the door. Okay. All right. So he's telling me to knock on the door, see if they're home. You know what? I don't even want to knock on the door yet. Because if they know I'm looking for the car, they're going to go even harder to hide it. Let me see. Can I look in here? I don't see anything in the garage. All right. We may be out of luck today, guys. Yeah, not every day you guys get a win. I'm going to check back here, though. Maybe they're hiding their truck back here. All right. And nope. We are unlucky, guys. All right. So it's not back here. Just one of those days. Wait a minute. I think this may be it right here, guys. So this is a house. Now this house next door is foreclosed. And yep. I think this is it, guys. He tried to hide it around the corner. Yep, this gotta be it. Let's check the license plate. Again, we can't really check the VIN number, so we're checking the license plate. 87GHC954. That is the correct truck. It looks like he has it attached to this boat here, so I'm going to have to try to detach it. And we are taking this thing, guys. Now, I do already have the key. Um, obviously, you guys know we do own the dealership, so we did have a copy of the key already, so we don't have to worry about that. Alrighty. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we'll leave the boat here. 
I should check to see if the boat has a repo on it too, because maybe we could just take the boat with us if it's out for repo. All right. Let me just do that so that <laughs> that siren goes away. All right. So, oh, let's disconnect that. And you know what? Um, I was going to bring the truck down here, but we already got this started. And I don't want him to come outside um, while we're trying to go grab the truck. So I'm going to go and just drive the truck up there. Uh, there's a fence right there. Let's see, can we go around this way? It's a nice truck, by the way. 2018. Could have paid it off, but he stopped making his payments. Seven months behind. Alright, um... Alright, I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> How ironic, I put in a no parking zone and it gets towed by another company. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna just park it right. Uh, I wanna park it somewhere. Alright, I'll park it right here. I wanna make sure we could put our truck where it's at. So let me lock it up. And let me go grab my truck. I kinda just parked my truck in somebody's driveway, but I saw it was a foreclosure house, so I figured it'll be okay. Nobody's really there if it's foreclosed. And it looks like our truck is still there. Perfect. All right. So let's go grab it and let's get the heck out of here, guys. This was actually a pretty easy repo today. I mean, I talked too soon, though, because you never know what could happen. They could come outside. And uh, we could end up in a fist fight, gunfight. It all has happened in the past, so. Alright, still there. Alright, let's get this thing. Alrighty. I wonder if we could use the winch to pull it up. I actually wanted to try that. Should we try it? Do I even have the winch in right now? We'll try it another time because I don't even know the buttons to control the winch. But remind me guys to try the winch out and see if we get the winch to pull it up. I think it will work. Alright, let's load this thing up. Alright. And... Hooking it up. Okay, so it's now attached, and it automatically attaches and everything like that, so we don't have to worry about that. And now uh, let's hop in and bring it up. Alright, that works perfectly. Like I said, this is definitely one of my favorite trucks. Oh, I did not see that little thing because of that feature right there that it could do. Now, that just reminded me. One thing about this truck, um, when you have a vehicle on it, you can't really see where you're going in third person. It keeps doing that. So, we're going to... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we're going to have to either use this camera and drive really carefully or we'll just use first per person. So... Let's go ahead and make our way back to the shop. That was a nice, easy pickup for today. I really do hope you guys enjoy it again. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you haven't already. I wish I could just lock the camera like this. But it's going to keep changing every couple of seconds. I'm going to turn my lights off because it seems like everybody's freaking out because of my lights. Whoa! Okay, let's just stay in first person. <laughs> Alright, back to the shop we go. We out. One mile to go, and we're back at the shop. And 
Nice and easy. This seems like such a long way to get there. Oh yeah, we can't go straight because obviously that. I forgot about this little body of water. Okay. GPS is right. Thought the GPS was taking me a long way or something. I was about to say. Yo, we're just whipping it right past the police station. <laughs> we should probably install that mod again that makes the police pull us over when we run traffic lights and stuff like that. Because that would kind of make this a little bit more realistic. Then we would have to make sure we're not running uh, lights in front of police officers, you know. We're still running lights, but we just got to be a little bit more careful with it. Alrighty, man, I can't see anything. Alright, so this vehicle was originally purchased from a different Ford dealership, but um, obviously you guys know I do own the Ford dealership in um, Los Santos, so I'm going to contact the bank, I'll let them know that we did recover the, ve the vehicle, and I'll see if they wanna want me to take it to my dealership, because I can always sell it and get good money for it at the dealership, so... I'll ask them if they would like me to handle selling it so they can recuperate their loss or if they want to just take it themselves and do whatever they want to do and get the money back on their own. That's completely up to them as well. Either way, we already made our money because we picked up the vehicle. Alright, I'm kind of nervous. Sometimes when we drive past, it spawns an extra tow truck and it blows up because it spawns in a bad place. It looks like it didn't this time, so we're good. We are good. Alright. I can't see a thing right now. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, the guy is still there. Oh man. R.I.P. Let's get some R.I.P.s in chat for that guy. Drop a R.I.P. if you're still watching. All right, let's head inside. Oh, what the heck did I hit? Oh, I hit the the yellow barrier there. Alright guys, we in the shop. Ah, oh, I went to first person, so that just destroyed that clip. Alright, we're in the shop. We did what we had to do. Um, I guess I'll, I'll park it outside. I mean, nobody could really take it. They would have to come through the shop to take it back, so it's safe if we park it outside. Watch that. Whoa, this looks... Yeah, I love this shop. The only thing about it is, like, it's just the, it's the up and down is so bad, especially when you're like coming in with certain trucks and trailers. But besides that, it's good. Oh, man. All right. Let me try to park this up somewhere without hitting the rest of my trucks because I can't see a thing. All right. Clear the F550. We'll park it up in the corner back here. Yeah, yeah, we'll park it right there. Alright, so push it back. <laughs> I gotta really remember to save this map with the trucks off. Every time I come here, like, all the trucks be running, wasting gas. Oh! Goodness. <laughs> Alright, I unhooked it and it just freaking kind of fell off. <laughs> Alright, it should still be okay, though. Yeah, it looks like it's okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, no visible damage. No visible damage. We're good. Alright, guys. So, we'll park this up right here. And make sure we lock it up. And we'll see what the bank wants us to do with this truck. 2018 F350. This thing is pretty new too. Alright, so uh, we're pretty much done with our job for today. So we'll go ahead and park this truck back up. If you guys would like me to use it in another episode, definitely let me know. And I'm going to try to remember to test it out and see if I could get it to... Um, if I could use the winch to pull a vehicle up. I think I could. Oh, that's so cool. When you put it down, 
the hazard lights turn on. You know, I've been using this thing for so long and I never knew that. That is cool. Alright. Let's park this thing up. I'll, I'll park it. Uh, where should we park it? I'll park it at the end. I kind of have them in order by size, but it's all good. So as you can see, the other three trucks that we have right there, they all have LED light bars. So those are pretty nice. I'm going to be updating our fleet soon too, guys. So make sure you guys look out for the new towing episodes. We have a lot of new things coming soon that I'm excited for you guys to see. Just show you guys how the lights work on these. They also have an arrow, bar, arrow board as well. So as you can see. And I believe we can put the arrow board up with this, I think. If we go to doors and trunk. Yeah, I put the arrow board up. I'm trying to remember what button actually lights up the arrow board. It should light up. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to have to look into that. But anyway, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Again, like button, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at ace underscore KUS, ace underscore coast. Go ahead and uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter as well. Twitter will be linked in the video description. So uh, let me let uh, Kay know that we got the car. And we're going to go ahead and get out of here. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.